Since 2015, hundreds of thousands of refugees and migrants have crossed the Mediterranean into Europe from Africa and the Middle East. Known as the gateway to Europe, Libya has seen many people pass through its borders. Unfortunately, traffickers are exploiting the lack of governance and migrant and refugees' desperation. Slave markets are flourishing around the country. This is Mbay's story. Mbay left his home in Senegal in search of work. He needed money to support his family and had heard that a better life awaited in Europe. He traveled to Niger, where he paid 410 Libyan dinars, $300, to take him to Libya. The journey to the coast of Libya took three days. On the side of the road, Mbay saw the remains of others abandoned by their drivers. They were still miles from the coast when the bus driver pulled over and ordered everyone off the bus. After they failed to meet the smugglers' demands for more money, Mbe and his fellow travelers found themselves up for sale in a slave market. He was sold to a man at the market for 480 Libyan dinars, $350. After Mbe had been sold, he was taken to a prison where hundreds of other men like him were being held. His captors forced him to call his family and demand $480 for his release. One day, without warning, Mbe was moved on to a much larger jail. His captors doubled the demand for his release. Mbe's family sold their house and used the money to pay for his release. Mbe was released but was too weak to travel. A Libyan man found him on the street and took him to a local hospital, where he was treated for severe malnutrition and wounds from torture. The hospital staff reached out to the International Organization for Migration, IOM, for assistance with Mbe. IOM provided Mbe with food, medication, shelter and clothes, while he recovered. Finally, Mbe was able to travel back to Senegal and was reunited with his family. He spoke to the IOM about what had happened to him in Libya. Freedom United is calling for action to protect refugees and migrants like Mbe. Mbe's story is not real, but is based on the experiences of hundreds of migrants trapped in slavery in Libya.